Okay guys, so excuse the whole look we're going for today. Um, I'm just very simple. I just wanted to get this video out because I know I promised you guys um, on Instagram a video of the MAC, um, the new MAC Cosmetics matte lip collection that just came out for summer 2015. And I got my box right here and then I did go to the, I did go to the store and picked up some more stuff. Um, there was a lot of re-promotes. Um, there was a lot of stuff that is already out um, in the collection that I already have. So, uh, of course, I'm not going to show that because I don't have them. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the stuff that I did get. I grabbed a lot, y'all. I grabbed two, four, six, eight, ten. I got ten. Um, granted, two are a... What's it called? A dupe. So... I was like, I'm just going to put that aside. So I did grab um, eight in total as far as, like, actual um, new stuff. And let's be real, I haven't even touched any of these as much as I really wanted to. I hate being this person, but I, seriously, I don't touch these, like, I don't touch new lipsticks. Like, probably, sometimes I can tell, I, for real, like, this is so bad. I don't touch them until like weeks later, sometimes months later. So this is actually going to be the first video that I swatch things. Yes, you guys, I'm going to swatch actual makeup for you guys. Um, if you followed me before, I never swatch um, lipsticks. I really don't because I always want to savor that beautiful bullet lookingness that it has, that tip. But I'm going to... Ugh, I just love how MAC lipstick smells, that vanilla scent. But yeah, if y'all know me, I do not I do not ever swatch because I want to keep it for as long, brand new as long as possible. But because these are um, all permanent, it's like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it anyways. I love matte finishes, by the way, just to let you know. So like I just mentioned in that little brief section right before, I love MAC's matte collection. Or, um... I love everything in it, but I, of course, I didn't want to go overboard and buy everything in it. So I just went um, for stuff that I normally don't see or I just don't have in my collection or that I know that I'm going to wear or at least try to wear. Or that I, I feel like all these colors I normally gear or um, I near, bleh, I normally steer towards. So, I mean... Whatever, but you know, you all know I had to get the stone in the world, so that's for sure gonna be in this video. So I'm just gonna pick up a random one and hopefully swatch it like on here. Um, I know swatching it. Oh gosh, I'm so pale on that side. But I'll swatch it on here so you guys can see, and I'll swatch it like this so you guys can see. Okay, so the first one that I got is Instigator, and it is this nice, beautiful. Plum, I want to say like it's almost like a black cherry color, but I haven't swatched it yet So we will not know until I do so I'll swatch it right here for you guys. Oh Pretty oh my gosh, this kind of looks like max rubble Next one is going to be uh, Tropic tonic and this one I picked up in store. I loved it because of that beautiful orange coral pink color I don't think I have anything similar to this I don't know oh my gosh you guys the swatches on these amazing oh, okay I'm, I hope you guys can see the swatches on them because they're super bad Beautifully. this one is antique velvet and you guys will see me wear this all the time like honestly I will probably be wearing this a lot um or not this specific one but you guys know that I wear browns all the time and that's antique velvet the next one is stone the ever so famous stone i seriously cannot wait to wear this oh amazing oh god this is just beautiful i love that color that stone right there it's just a beautiful muted brownish gray tone like taupe i guess you can say and of course, the ever so famous whirl. Whirl is right there, so it has more of a peachy brown tone to it. Oh, I just love these lipsticks already. This is like the most awkward 
swatch my nail swatch right here. Next one is in Naturally Transformed. This one looks like a beautiful nude. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should just get backups of these. That is Naturally Transformed right there. That one has more of like a peachy no, well, yeah, it looks like a camel color in pictures, but it's more, it's a muted camel color. In the pan, honestly, or the stick, it looks like it's going to wash me out. Maybe it will, but I really like this one. I want to get a dupe for it, or a dupe. I want to get a backup. This one is called pers or Persistence. 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 Oh my gosh, so off. This one looks like Warm Me Up from MAC, and Warm Me Up is an amplified finish. It just has less of the rose tint colors to it, and it's right there. Oh my gosh, I super want to get backups of these. Last but not least, Men Love Mystery. I was kind of debating on getting this one because it looks so much like Up the Amp. But Up the Amp is amplified, and this is a matte, so it's totally different uh, finishes. So I grabbed that one as well. As you can see, the matte finishes in MAC are awesome. As I wipe this off with a makeup wipe, the matte um, lipsticks from MAC aren't super matte. Um, like lip stains and like Melt Cosmetics matte, if you've ever tried Melt Cosmetics. They're actually pretty creamy compared to a matte matte ultra matte um, lipstick which I still like for especially those of you who have lips that tend to be very very dry or really chappy I would highly suggest um, the MAC lipsticks for you because they're not they're not the consistency or they're not going to dry your lips out right off bat I already know that this lipstick is not gonna be for everybody like on me I'm kinda getting used to it because this is the first time I'm seeing something like this on my lips I mean stone like fully on my lips um i do have other lip products that have this kind of effect to it like ghoulish from la splash cosmetics that one goes i love that one but again stone is a little bit different it's really muted like taupe so those were literally all the lipsticks that i got from the collection um, I might go back for more, who knows, um, most likely I will, but uh, I didn't want to go too crazy like I always do when it comes to MAC summer collections. I always pick up things during the summer with MAC collections, I don't know why, it always draws me in. I sold out. Don't be afraid if um, you can't get your hands on these um, products right now or these specific colors right now because it is permanent. They are making it permanent in the MAC line or the lipstick line so you will be able to find it anywhere. Um, this is just my two cents on the actual collection itself. I'm just a lip junkie and I would spend the $16.50 on each one. Of course. I think it's worth it. I know a lot of lipsticks nowadays like ranging up to the $30, like even to the $50. So I'm just saying that's like way too much. But Max stays with their $16.50. I mean, I remember when it was young, like uh, younger. I remember when it was a lot lesser. A lot lesser. A lot less. But um, I would pay $16.50 for these. Um, even when my Mac Pro card is still coming in the mail, like, I still paid $16.50 for them. And you can back to Mac a lot of your stuff for these lipsticks, so go ahead and do that. Grab all your empties and back to Mac it for these because it's too, it's too, it's totally worth it. I just cannot talk today. Anyways, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. I need to go to bed. I need to get, wash this horrible face off so that I can film another video for you guys in the morning and that will probably be another lip swatchies. So hopefully stay tuned. Bye guys!